take them home. We have an obligation under the Children and Young Persons and Their Families Act to, uh, to ensure they're safe after hours. And uh, this is being uh, late at night. Um, we're allowed to uh, take them home to the parents or caregivers. Go, sir. Sorry to wake up, mate. Running and hiding. Were you from... catching up, Bob? No, you weren't. Can't catch the bus at the back of the toilet in that uh, shopping centre. Uh, yes, sir. You can go find hiding and go see with the cops. What? Just keep them in tonight, eh? And just yep. make sure they're not out late. What? Oh, yeah, thank you. No, I said we're not. See you, girls. With the two girls safely at home, it was time for John and Casey to head out onto the road and the rest of their shift. Another satisfied customer. This week on Police 107, we're in Tokoroa when Detective Constable Mike McKenzie assembles a team to execute a drug warrant. It's a, uh, a fish pump for an aquarium. And, uh, it's been converted into a bog. We're on the trail of a burglar and con man operating around the Haraki Plains. Well, that's the name of the person I know. And we're out on patrol in Hamilton when a group of car thieves hit town. And police have to deal with a drunk who just can't find his way out of his car. Few problems here, are we? They go back to sleep. They go back to sleep. 